state capital and Salem has been the scene of several protests this past month, some of which have turned violent. That includes on a one day special session when armed right wing protesters breached the Oregon State Capitol building. Our Liz Birch live in Salem tonight. Liz, law enforcement prepared for any potential protests, not just today, but for the rest of the week as well. That's right. The session rather is but set to begin tomorrow here at the Capitol building and Governor Kate Brown will give her state of the state address. But we got answers from OSP and Salem police about what they're doing to keep everyone in Salem safe. It was a peaceful scene in Salem this inauguration day with just a handful of protesters. I think Joe Biden is a sane choice for right now. Sasha Miller tells me he's here to show his support for the newly sworn in president. He's not surprised by the lack of far right wing protesters after what happened on January 6th in our nation's capital. These people were getting away for some really reprehensible behavior. Um, and uh, the ability to get away with that was fueling their willingness to show up and behave like that. Well, the sixth showed that these people are going to go to jail for committing these sort of crimes. And so now those same people are not going to show up here to commit violent acts in the same numbers. Oregon State Police tells me today they'll have added troopers tomorrow. They say the National Guard will be available as well. The Oregon State Police are working in coordination with local, state, and federal partners to ensure that we have a peaceful next three days. In a press conference Tuesday, they said harassment, vandalism, and violence here will not be tolerated. Your Oregon State Police are ensuring that your state government remains intact and continues. And we are doing that with the help of not only our Oregon National Guard partners, but also the Salem Police Department and the Marion County Sheriff's Office. Salem Police tells me their role will be to support OSP. In that same press conference, the FBI also stressed that their heightened state of vigilance isn't just for today. As we continue to work to identify, investigate, and most importantly, disrupt any potential violence that may occur over these next couple of days. You can read about the previous unrest here at the Capitol on our website. That's coin.com. Live in Salem tonight, Liz Birch, Coin 6 News.